preventive protocol as instructed by government. Chief Igbenejon called on Nigerians to use the occasion of the Independence Day celebration to rededicate themselves to the development and overall survival of the nation. The ASAMA pointed out that there can be no development in an atmosphere of animosity and harped on the need for all citizens to embrace peace at all times. He stressed the need for all to imbibe the spirit of patriotism, selflessness, and good neighborliness in the scheme of things. Idaho State Government is set to celebrate Nigeria's 60th Independence Day anniversary. Commissioner for Youths and Special Duties, Damian Lawani, who made this known, said the celebration will be low-key. Best in Bieri has details. Independence Day celebration over the years has always been characterized with fun fair, with governments at all level taking part to mark the day. Commenting on plans to mark this year's Independence Day, Edo State Commissioner for Youth and Special Duties, Damian Lawani said there will be an interdenominational service at the government house to mark the day with strict compliance to the COVID-19 protocol. The federal government has said it's going to be in the low key. Uh, in Edo State too, it's going to be in the low key. But we are going to praise God. We are going to tell God that we are grateful for all that he has done for us. There is a denominational service that is going to happen in government house. And thereafter, there is also a youth carnival that we are organizing at the museum ground by all the youth registered, affiliated youth bodies in Edo State. It's no more news that COVID-19 is real and we'll try as much as possible to adhere to all the protocols. Damian Lawani said, though Nigeria is here to actualize its full potentials, citizens have numerous reasons to celebrate the country's Dharma Jubilee. The youth of Edo State will also celebrate that we've been able to uh, attain the age of 60, giving us hope that we, the youth of tomorrow, they said yesterday, the tomorrow has actually come. The low key does not mean we will not celebrate. There is reason to celebrate, especially in Edo State, putting into account where we are just coming from. And uh, it calls for celebration. According to the Edo State Commissioner for Youth and Special Duties, a youth carnival will also take place at the National Museum Ground, King Square, Benin City, as part of activities to mark the day. Best in Bire reporting. You're watching ITV Bay News. Still to come, all is set for ITV Radio Independence Day anniversary celebration tagged Independence Owewe. You can watch ITV on Roku TV in the UK, America, Africa, and other parts of Europe, and also on Smart TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Android TV. You can view us nationwide on Star Times Channel 130 and Go TV. Channel 107. Follow us also on our Twitter handle at ITV Radio NG on YouTube www.youtube.com slash ITV Radio NG and on website at www.itvradionigeria.com live streaming www.itvradionigeria.com slash live and on our Facebook www.facebook.com slash ITV Radio NG visit our website for more stories ITV Radio Nigeria dot com slash live and do not forget to download the ITV app from your mobile app star. Stay tuned. Since 1999, Igbenedio University, Okada, has delivered high-quality education of international standard with uninterrupted calendar to teaming Nigerians and foreigners who are making waves in their respective vocations. 
In the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic, Ebenezer University took advantage of its smart campus to conclude the 2019-2020 academic session successfully using online mode of lecture delivery and examinations, thereby maintaining the sanctity of its academic calendar and timely graduation of students. You too can become part of this success story by enrolling for the 2020-2021 academic session at www.iuokada.edu.ng at the cost of 12,500 naira online or by certified bank draft. Resumption date for fresh students will be announced soon. To ensure safety of staff and students upon resumption, the university has put in place all safety protocols prescribed by the NCDC. Signed, Friday, Benji Bakari, Esquire, Registrar. Wow, it is a new dawn, the grand opening of another arm of Derby Day, a state-of-the-art event center and mall, situated opposite Hotel Derby Day, Bini Agba Road, Igboba Hill, Benin City. A paradise on earth, serene environment, another landmark achievement by Chief Lady Doris Obo, JP. Join us in the celebration of this milestone success to be blessed by His Grace, Most Reverend Dr. Augustine Akoboise, Catholic Archbishop of Benin, under the distinguished chairmanship of His Excellency, Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Osawaro Igbenedio, a summer of Benin Kingdom. It's going to be a fun-packed event with lots of gift items powered by Nigerian Beerus PLC, support by Henneken. Hmm. Date 1st October 2020. Time 12 noon. Billion City. It is the grand opening of a magnificent event center for social activities of class. Keep a date with us. See you there. 4 plus 4 hearty congratulatory message to our indefatigable governor and his deputy, the president and members of the Benin Unity League at home and abroad. Heartily congratulate our energetic and focused governor, Godwin Nogegase Obaseki, and his exemplary deputy governor, Right Honorable Comrade Philip Shaibu, on their resounding victory at the recent Edo State governorship election. We are greatly fulfilled by our electoral victory, recalling that it was the occasion of our courtesy call on Your Excellency that you're now facing famous quote of second term for me is not negotiable was made. As if we knew tomorrow, we urged you on and told your excellency that you will not fail. We are confident with this renewal of your mandate that you will excel and a dual state will continue to move forward under your leadership. May God Almighty guide you as you embark on the task of making a dual state great again. Obagatope say Signed, Dr. U.S.G. Osa, President and C.I. Okoro, Secretary General Jacob, Jesus Jacob, Jacob, Jesus Jacob. This is the voice of Iyemuya, Margaret Ogosa Bonifo. Yes, oh Lord, take over. When God take over, impossible will become possible. Join me again on Soba Fest at Independence Praise and Prayer Walk. At Ring Road, 6 a.m. Are you a man? Are you a woman? Are you a boy? Join in the mothers in this land to celebrate Nigeria at this day. I wait to see you at Ring Road, 6 a.m. As you join us to work, God will be taking over the affairs of this nation and begin to work everything out for our We cannot do this on our own. Congratulatory message to our amiable governor and his deputy. I, Reverend Dr. Ambassador Joy Azigbemi Okogele, JP, District Superintendent, Assemblies of God, Nigeria, Edo District, and Executive Member of the General Council of Assemblies of God, Midway Zone, on behalf of Assemblies of God, Nigeria, Edo District, heartily congratulate our amiable governor, Godwin Norerase Obaseke and his dependable deputy, Right Honorable Comrade Philly Shaibo, on their re election and the recent Edo State Governorship election. Your Excellency, your victory is God ordained and well deserved, considering your laudable performance in your first tenure in office. May God continue to guide and strengthen you to do more for the people of Edo State. We will continue to support you in prayers so that your second tenure will be better and greater. Once again, congratulations. Signed, Reverend Dr. Ambassador Joy Azigbemi Okogile, JP, District Superintendent, Assemblies of God, Nigeria, Edo District, and Executive Member of the General Council of Assemblies of God, Midway Zone.
Thanks for being there. Moving on. All is now set for the ITV Radio Independence Day anniversary celebration tagged Independence or Wewe Nigeriana, scheduled for tomorrow at the Communications Village Igosha. Best in Bureau quotes the organizers as saying that the event will be fun filled. Mark Ewomeni, a member of the organizing committee, putting finishing touches to the stage to be used for the celebration of the Nigerian Dharma Jubilee at the Ultra Modern Digital Studio of Independent Television. After hours of decoration, the studio is now wearing a new look, just as the program directors were arranging the schedule for the event. Seating arrangement is also in place, just as the security personnel are also on standby to ensure that only those invited for the program in accordance with the COVID-19 protocol are allowed into the premises. The general manager, Independent Television, Senior Edagbe De Ogumose, said even though this year's edition of Independence of Wearwear may not be elaborate, there is more the public can look forward to during the transmission of the program between 10 o'clock in the morning and 1 p.m. RTV Radio is known for innovative entertainment and educative programs. This year, 2020, independent of Owe Nigeriana has been put together by us and uh, it may not be elaborate as we used to see from our Glasshouse corporate office. This year is coming to you live from our studio. There is a lot for you to expect a bumper package has been put together by the committee saddled with the responsibility of this year's event is never going to be a dull moment a member of the itv and radio on air party organizing committee the king kinsley lato urged the public to tune in to itv to be part of the celebration we are always prepared to give everybody a treat especially this program is designed to delight our children we have selected uh, some of the people that have posted their dance steps and we have seen their dance dexterity and we have selected some few ones that we think will have to come to the studio to perform it live. From there we'll have our first, second and third and we'll give out prizes. The program is going to be televised from our local uh, station and our satellite. So wherever you are, and it's also going to be streamed live. Also speaking, head of the engineering department, ITV and radio, Mr. Ifeo Safoma, also assured that the program will be hitch free. As you can see, we, the engineering department, are really ready for the celebration of tomorrow as Nigeria will be celebrating 60 years of independence. As you can see, power is no regular in Nigeria, but uh, we already have a standby generator to make sure that the program is hitch free. According to the chairman of the planning committee and deputy general manager, commercial group services, independent television and radio, Mrs. Audrey Balogun, to what price will be in the office? This is Minikas Vision Fedro, our one of the top of the Jeremiah Marcus Dabli, who takes a kind of design to get a look at the independence day of our celebration attack, dependence of where Nigeria should form our form of the parade and broadcast by President Mohamed Buhari at the Eagles Court. After six months of the lockdown of institutions, as directed by the Federal Ministry of Education as a result of the outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic, Igbenedion University, Okada, has announced the resumption of full academic activities for the 2020-2021 academic session, beginning with online registration of fresh 100-level students on September the 28, 2020. The registrar Friday, Benji, who stated this after the Senate meeting said in line with the National Center for Disease Control Directive for Social and Physical Distancing. The physical resumption of students will be in phases beginning with the exiting classes and the postgraduate students returning on Saturday, the 3rd of October 2020. He explains that students from 200 to 500 levels, depending on the program of study, would resume on the 24th of October why fresh students who have already started their online registration would be admitted on campus beginning from Saturday, 7th November 2020. In a goodwill message, the Vice Chancellor, Professor Lawrence Ikechukwe Zemoye, said the university in its bid to maintain the sanctity of steady academic calendar leveraged on e-learning even in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic outbreak to carry out online teaching and learning and was able to conclude 
this session. The Chancellor noted that the lockdown afforded the university the opportunity to look inwards and produce some pharmaceutical and non-pharmaceutical personal protective equipment to ensure the safety of staff and students upon resumption. Meanwhile, the Governing Council of Ibnidion University, Okada, has appointed a new librarian. He is Dr. Loki Tijani Abdusalami. Dr. Abdusalami, before his appointment, had a robust work experience from within and outside the country. He worked as a lecturer in the Library and Information Science at the Institute of Education, ABU Zaria, and later moved to Federal University of Lafayette, Nasarawa State, where he engaged in teaching, research, and practical librarianship. He rose to become the university librarian and head of the Department of Library and Information Science of the same university. Dr. Abdul Salami was later appointed an associate professor of the 1st of July, 2019, at the Legacy University, the Gambia, West Africa, a position he held until his appointment as the university he has since resumed. You're watching ITV Main News. We bring you more stories after the break. Stay tuned. Of the board in management of standard. Congratulatory message on behalf of the board in management of Standard Life Organization, a non-governmental organization. I congratulate you on your victory in the September 19th governorship election in the states. Your resounding victory at the polls is a testimony of your selfless service to the people of Edo State. Your outstanding policies that brought peace and stability to the state is immeasurable. Suffice it to say that this alone made made our organization to relocate its corporate headquarters to Benin City in 2019. We are glad that Your Excellency formally commissioned the building on Saturday, August 24th, 2019. While we are optimistic of better days ahead for the people of Edo State, judging from the foundation you have laid so far, we assure Your Excellency that we are very much committed to partnering with your administration in the areas of women empowerment, capacity building, and job creation for youths. May your administration leave a positive imprint in the East of the state, in particular in Nigeria in general. Long live Edo states. Long live Federal Republic of Nigeria. O Baratok Bey is uh, signed Osaze Oyegwe, Chief Executive Officer. This is my time. You are not going to spoil it. This time is precious. Don't let mosquitoes spoil the fun. Relax and enjoy the moments that matter. Use Bagon fast-acting insect killing protection for your home. Bagon, take back your home. S.C. Johnson, a family company. And I won't forget you. Ten years remembrance. We remember you today and always. Our dearly beloved mother, grandmother and great-grandmother, late Madam Elizabeth Usanwese Agbonaye Ne Asemuta who slept in the Lord on the 1st of October 2010. We thank God for the fulfilled life you live. We wish you could see the manifestations of your prayers and supplications to God in our lives today. The lessons of discipline, honesty, hard work, contentment, self-dependence, and family values you taught us have projected us to enviable heights. We miss you always, but we are consoled that you are resting in the Lord and we shall see you again on the resurrection morning when we shall part no more. You are fondly remembered by all your children, Mrs. Teresa Aimusu, retired educationist, Mr. Uyi Agbonaye, Chairman Managing Director, AU Motors Limited, Engineer Augustine Agbonaye, Director, Uniben, Mr. Felix Agbonaye, Chairman Managing Director, Felosa Nigeria Limited, Mrs. Eguma Edeki, Lecturer, Uniben, 24 grandchildren and 28 great grandchildren, signed Engineer A.I. Agbonaye for the children. Welcome back, Awuf. Don't be like a tell. Oh, yes. Chikele Muni travel Awuf to different places for Nigeria. Muyi Line, you know they disappoint. Muyi Line cheap Awuf price, where they make Bele City don't come for you. From Benito Lagos, my two, Iyanopaja, Yaba, Aja, and other places, including unbeatable Awuf price. From Benito Port Harcourt, Wari, Bayesa, and other Niger Delta Route, plus Ekpoma, Auchi, Abuja, and other places for Nigeria. Come enjoy comfortable executive Muyi Line charter bus and car service to international airport and other destinations for this special Awuf price. Yes, 
Now we your party party for all seasons and journey. Travel price must not disturb your journey. Oh, enjoy this cheap Awuf travel price for Muji Line. 169 Uselu Lagos Road, opposite Technical Johnson, Benin City. Muji Line, Grand Master Grand. of Niger Delta Roads. We are Nigerians. We have one history. Yes, in the honors of Nigerian history, 1st of October remains indelible. Because now that day we get freedom from our colonial masters. Wow, patriotic Nigerians, we have to celebrate or no need. Eh? No need? What we'll talk If you know value freedom, ask our children when you suffer slavery for Obodo Ibo, Mio, I go celebrate Nigeria plus myself because I know be slave <laughs> Good talk. If you can call, let's overrise on ITV and radio on air or wherever Nigerian on 1st of October 2020 at 10 a.m. Naso! Oh, we were Nigeriana featuring best of our riser competition using indigenous music. Poem recitation on No Place Like Home. Maximum two minutes. Record and send to ITV Benin at yahoo.com on or before 24th of September 2020. Let's go dancing. Father of the day, Bishop Dr. Okudigye Osayuki Charles, General Overseer, Anointed Brethren Church International Incorporated, and Administrator, SETA International School, GRA, Benin City. This program is partly sponsored by Calvary Crown Academy with campuses at Ugbawa, Ogida, Ugbo GRA, and Ekawan Road. For 2020-2021 admission details, log on to www.calvarycrownacademy.com. Omoyege Sirius, CEO, The Prince Builders and Estate Developers Limited, currently selling plots of land at the Prince Builders Estate at Obage, Obayato, Imasagbo, and Obayatin communities. Buy 10 plots and get one for free. Office address, Comfort Plaza, A4, ATT, off Adesua Road, GRA, Benin City. Or call 0815-171-1111. Scottish Post Limited, built on a passion for sports and impacting lives through post betting. Head office, 62 Arosa Street, off First East Secular Road, Benin City, Edo State, Nigeria. Branch office, number 2, Footep Shop Plaza, Refinery Junction, Efro, Delta State. Telephone number 0806 551 9458. Let's go dancing. Oh, where were Nigeriana? Bro! <laughs> Repair and recover with us to me. Traffic was for several hours disrupted today along Benin Lagos Road as students from the Niger Delta area in collaboration with the Talakawa Parliament protested against the closure of Danko filling stations by the National Headquarters of Nigeria Union of Petroleum and Natural Gas Workers. A Fosa Wangwe captured highlights of the protest. The protesters who chanted solidarity songs to press home their demands gave the national headquarters of Nupeng 24 hours to attend to their demands or they would be forced to occupy both the Lagos and the Abuja offices. The president, Ninja Delta students, said they decided to take to the streets to protest against the closure in solidarity with the owner of the Danko filling station who has placed many of the Niger Delta students on scholarship. They said it is not enough to shut down the means of livelihood of a philanthropist just because of some abnormalities and manipulations in union affairs. He has contributed so much to the upliftment of our region, the region, the Niger Delta. 
Dima Ibane Gakari Anamero. I want to say here today that we cannot fold our hands as Niger debtors to see one of our own be intimidated. The students from this region are concerned. The reason is because this man have over 500 students in the scholarship scheme that we call Dako Anamero Itofe Foundation. The Speaker Talakawa Parliament Kola Adukbaye and a representative of the Student Union Government of Ambrose Ali University Ekpoma said what transpired amounts to injustice which they will fight against. He called on the federal government and other stakeholders to intervene and called on the national headquarters of Nupeg to reopen Danko filling stations across the country to commence operations. The CMD of Danko filling station to say Kabudori detrimental to the oppressive, to the suppressive and repressive barbaric act of Nupeng by shutting down its filling station nationwide. We, we believe that Nupeng is a union that subscribes to the ethics and ethos to the philosophical beam of fundamental unionism. The Abusali University Ekpoma Student Union Government, I'm still here also to represent the state chapter of Niger Delta Student Union Government of Edo State to call on all individuals to come outside in a Luta force to stand against all oppressions of the people who have power to close the Denko uh, Petroleum, as you can see, the Denko Petroleum Enterprise. The DPO Ekadalo Division was personally on the ground to maintain law and order. A FOSA one way reporting. Members of a non-government organization that protects human rights, Think West Initiative, today took to the streets to create awareness on human rights abuse and violence against women. Beston Berry reports that the group protested against what they described as abuse against an 80-year-old woman, Madam Lucy Okoje who is facing eviction from her house. Members of Think West Initiative comprising young people in a protest march to create awareness on the need for the oppressed in the society to get justice and also against women and children abuse. One of the initiatives is the rising of children from a background. So, the global is the platform of alteration. One of the reasons we came out here today is to show support and solidarity to an elderly woman in her 80s. Most of the properties and things she owns is being sold off. You know what I mean? So now the only property that is left is practically <laughs> being dragged with her to say that she needs to be out of property, something that she believed she has earned. And for the fact that she's a woman, that is why the Think Works Initiative as an NGO has now decided to take it on board to see how we can come up in solidarity with Lucy. Other members of the group said Think West will continue to fight for the oppressed in the society. The Think West Initiative is of the idea that we should think West. You can't try such a thing in the West. We are standing for justice for not just one woman, but for all women. And the name says Think West Initiative. Train up a girl child and train up a full nation. She was deprived of so many human rights and she deserved to be fought for. And we will stand by her as youths and as girls. It can be anybody, our mothers, our trying to secure our future. So this is a very nice part we have all plugged into to see that she gets what is rightfully as in the whole struggle. Take West Initiative was registered a few years ago. Injustice to women. Injustice to nations. Best in Biere reporting. Edo State Governor Mr. Gordon Obaseke says he will embark on more developmental projects in his second tenure in office. Governor Obaseke gave the assurance today when he received members of the National Union of Road Transport Workers, Edo State Chapter, who were in Government House, Benin City, to congratulate him on his re election. Government House correspondent Patience Usaogua complete the story.
Members of the National Union of Road Transport Workers, a Doe State chapter, led by Secretary Comrade Phyllis Alogie, joined others to pledge the support to the state governor more than ever before in the next four years. When the members of National Union of Road Transport Workers are called the 18 local government area of a Doe State chapter, are here today to congratulate you over your victory on the pool on September 19, 2020. Uh, Responding, Governor Basek, who thanked the union members on their visit, commended them for their support and promised to embark on more developmental projects. The governor stressed that September 19 would never be forgotten in the annals of Nigerians' democracy following the way the people came out to vote and also defended their votes, making the election to be adjudged as one of the freest elections to be conducted in Nigeria. Saturday, 19th of September will always be remembered in the history of Nigeria because of what you did for coming out to stand for democracy by voting and defending your votes. I want to appreciate what all of you did in all the 18 local governments. In the same vein, executive members of the Young People's Party, led by their Doe State Chairman, Mr. Yobosa Osagyobare, were also at Government House to congratulate Governor Basaki on his well-deserved victory at the just-concluded governorship election in a Doe State. We wish to formally congratulate you on your election as Governor of a Doe State. It is a well-deserved victory. I will give God all the glory for all things they have your Excellency, we have widely believed that any meaningful tangible and people oriented to the government requires the collective responsibility of all stakeholders. Mr. Osagyobare listed some of the roles played by the party to include collapsing the party's structure for PDP to ensure victory for Governor Obaseki. We see ourselves as partners in the progress of our dear state, and we believe that together we can lift our state even to more viable heights. Your Excellency, we wish you were well in your second term. We have no altar of doubt that you will deliver on your mandate to a two people by the special grace of God. Governor Baseki, who thanked YPP for all the support accorded him at the Edo State chapter of PDP during the election, re-emphasized government's commitment to partner with political parties in the state to bring dividends of democracy to the people. We are beginning a process setting the democratic and political development of the art of the And that's why I congratulate you for being a player in the process. Because without getting our politics right, development will be very difficult. The state governor who reiterated his commitment to a door people said they will never regret the choice made by voting for him. Patience. Osaugiwa reporting. As Nigeria prepares to celebrate its 60th independence anniversary, the judiciary is said to be lagging behind on many fronts. Some Abuja-based lawyers stated this while speaking exclusively to ITV News on the measurement and evaluation of the judiciary, 60 years of the country's existence. ITV Abuja correspondent Joseph Kadiri reports that the lawyers advocated for funding to make the judicial arm be at par with those in the developed world. Nigeria is exactly 60 years on October 1st, 2020, as a country after its independence on October 1st, 1960. Celebration mode such as this is characterized with measurement and performance evaluation of the journey so far and is done sectorally. One of those is the judicial arm of government. Parameters such as independence of the judiciary and its financial autonomy, speedy dispensation of justice, number of courts and judges, among others, will be analyzed. Interacting with some Abuja-based lawyers, they list the challenges of the judicial arm as follows. Lesser interventions from the executive, they should have their complete independence. They need to be independent and their tenure quite secure so that they can feel free to dispense justice as they uh, our judiciary is not uh, cases are usually protected but the quality of the judge determines 
to some extent how many cases and how long cases stay in court that come to the court. They are not enough hands, definitely. So you continue to see that a few hands handle so much. On the way forward, they say injecting more funds is key to elevating the arm to an enviable height. So the judiciary needs to adapt a lot of technological improvement. It will help a lot. One, if the judge doesn't record in long hand, it saves a lot of time taking up cases. And then the, um, some progress have been made with respect to AGJA, Administration of Criminal Justice Act. We embrace technological advancement and then ensure that the dispense justice according to their conscience, not just according to their conscience, judiciously and judicially. I believe that uh, we'll make progress and Nigeria will be better off for it. So to some extent, the advancement of technology will definitely affect, for instance, most of the judges see right in, in long hand. Money is needed in the judiciary. The money doesn't have to be in the hand of a man who will say, do this before I give you the money. The money has to be in the hand of people who know that this is our own unit of the society. We must run it and run it to benefit the people. I am talking about independence of the judiciary. One thing that cannot be taken away from Nigeria's judiciary, according to the lawyers, is that it remains the hope of the common man. Joseph Kadri, ITV News, Abuja. The leadership of Edo State Drivers Welfare has called on commercial drivers in the state not to pay any form of levy to anyone or group of persons in obedience to state government's ban on revenue collection from drivers as a way of reducing the negative effect of coronavirus pandemic on them and the members of the public. President Edo State Drivers Welfare Comrade Lucky Idea stated this today in an enlarged meeting of commercial drivers attended by the leadership of Edo State Public Works volunteers. Ike Boje Horia has details. On no account, we should not give money to any revenue collector, including you, the representative of the driver. The, the state government will now intervene so that they will tell individual where your boundary will reach. Everybody knows that this government Ambassador cannot be passed away, we will agree. No one pass a constant for power. They use that until they stop money for people. No allow any junior collect. Till the state government will give us more ahead. Now government, now I say me who they pay. Now the state government, respect of COVID-19, now they see stop stopping. If they see what may will start, they will see call us, let us know. Addressing the drivers, President Edo State Drivers Welfare, Comrade Lucky Adenya said, no one or group of persons have the right to go against government order on the ban on all forms of taxes and collections from commercial drivers since the coronavirus pandemic started as a way of reducing the negative impact of the pandemic on drivers and has since then not reversed its decision and wondered why anyone would want to force the drivers to do so. Comrade Adenya said, as the president of the Edo State Drivers welfare, he decided to make it public that no commercial driver in the state should part with money to anyone including members of his executives pending government directives. In respect of COVID-19, which the state government have come out openly and say from now on, which the driver we should not pay to any revenue collector. So today again, the government has permitted that we should not pay to any revenue collector. That is why we have to spread it to our all, all around so that all our people will be aware that nobody has the right to come and collect, including with the representative of the commercial drivers. Why appreciating president of a dosage driver's welfare, Komiloki Adenya, and members of his executive for ensuring that commercial drivers in the state obey government rules and regulations, head of the state public works volunteers, Comrade Mukta Usagi, said a dosage driver's welfare is exemplary in its conduct and advised other pressure groups and associations to emulate them. You know, this body has always been steadfast. They've been there and they have a very large network. You can see for yourself. So it's a very good avenue for us to reach out to drivers so that we can tell them the do's and don'ts, you know, on the road, you know, so that they can actually comply. You know, there's a mandate that all drivers should return to the park, all unions should return to the park. And my brother Adeyan has, you know, deeming free to educate his people. 
At the end of the meeting, leaders of both drivers' welfare and public works volunteers agreed to form a committee in ensuring free flow of traffic within the state. Head of Corporate Affairs Communication, Edo State Board of Internal Revenue, Courage Eboigbe, has since confirmed that the suspension of revenue collection from commercial drivers due to the coronavirus pandemic continues. I hold you for reporting. We take yet another commercial break on ITV Main News. Stay. When you wake up in the morning before you start your day, breakfast time is chaos time. For work and for play, for that do your day, breakfast time is chaos time. All Saturdays in our income breakfast, hard nesterings and having that vitamins and meals. Our bad breakfast time is chaos time. Breakfast time is chaos time. Yes, the quality petrol and diesel generators of different sides and brandy. Machines to grind pepper corn and crack palm cane, plus all that in C, all day for Uyi Technica. This now your opportunity to get your own no. Come the generator headquarters, Uyi Technica Limited, 7981 83 Remission Road, Benin City. Uyi Technica, affordable. Generators for everybody. Who says we have to go back to normal? What if we choose to be open and say, I will never call my job unimportant again? I refuse to be a stranger in my own living room. I'll lead like a woman and I stand by every word I say. Make my vote count, make my voice heard today. See, I'll never forget how much stronger we are together. I'll carry that in my heart forever. We'll weather the storm. So I'll be open. Like never before. You do well for our body as you don't make it travel from Benin to Lagos very cheap. Student price. As you sabi how everything come a bin here. Oh, humble line. I want go thank you, thank you. For small money prices to travel from Benin to Lagos. Sell my tool. Volkswagen bus stop. Another bus go carry you to Ikeja. Abulu Egba. Iyano Paja. Now so another bus go carry you. Go for Aja Leki. While another bus go drop you for Ojo Tap and Groove Ujaba. For Benin. Oh, humble line. Get early money bus service. We go carry you for four o'clock early morning fuel. Drop you for Lagos for seven o'clock in Bamo. That's not why we the call them. Good morning, Lagos. Oh, humble line. He get hotel for your relaxation and event center for all cash. Humble to Google it for business. Oh, la, for the road. Environmental Rights Action and Friends of the Earth Nigeria has organized a national youth talent hunt to empower youths and also showcase their talents and innovative products. Sonny Dioko Kosun reports that the event held at Precious Palm Royal Hotel, Ugbo, Benin City, and is part of Environmental Rights Action Strategy of attracting youth's participation to help address the global energy transition. In his address of welcome, the Executive Director, Environmental Rights Action and Friends of the Earth Nigeria, Dr. Gaudin Uyojo, who condemned the current tax regime in the country as well as the hike in fuel and electricity tariffs as obstacles to renewable energy development, harped on the need to bridge the gap of technological deficiencies in the country by encouraging state and non-state actors to be involved in the production and supply of renewable energy technologies and products. Speaking a facilitator at the event, engineer Asalaye Damilola, highlighted the importance of partnership, building capacities, and turning innovative ideas to practical solutions. In a presentation, the director training National Power Institute engineer Abdullahi Aliu gave a practical demonstration of the success story of Dan Jav Solar Power, invented by youths sponsored by Environmental Rights Action and Friends of the Earth Nigeria. The tax regime which the federal government seems to be imposing on Nigerians uh, mainly increases production cost and that has significant impact on renewable energy development. So many reasons why we need to embrace renewable energy. I've just listed three of them. It provides the natural resources that will help us reduce the Part of your innovation to the general 
welfare of our human beings, not only Nigerians, but anybody in the world, because that's the essence of innovation. You may not know how long the little effort we are putting will take us to. The high point of the Youth Talent Hunt Festival NNV Clean Energy Project was the presentation by various youths to showcase their innovations. Some participants in an interview commended ERA for the initiative. Uh, a lot of uh, innovative ideas here, as in this place, they are full of innovators. I build this plane, you are saying, yeah, I build it with foam. Everything here is, I make everything here with foam. What? So what you have here is also it's a, it's a power bank also. This one also has to be chargeable with true solar. Like you see that we also, we also decided to add a bright LED light, especially for students who, who, who may want to read. The reason for this is so that you don't need to get a power bank and not get an extra USB light. Uh, I built it with uh, this battery. It is called 18650 battery. It's actually from the uh, discarded laptop battery. Sonny Duke Okosun reporting. Some political appointees under the umbrella body of Ijo Liberation Group from Ovia Southwest, Ovia Northeast and the Kubaoka local government areas at those state have called on security agencies to investigate the gruesome murder of an Ijo indigen during the September 19 Edo state governorship election. Spokesperson for the group, Mr. Ezekiel Daniel, alleged that some persons shot sporadically in the area that led to the death of a woman after being hit by a stray bullet. At this way, Runokai has details. Mr. Ezekiel Daniel, who is a senior special advisor to Delta State Governor on security matters, while narrating the incident, alleged that those allegedly responsible for the shooting are yet to be arrested. He called on all relevant security agencies and the state governor, Godwin Obasaki, to investigate the matter and unravel the perpetrators and bring them to justice. All gathered to Ofunama water side, they began to shoot sporadically. The military men confronted them. So, when this woman discovered that they don't understand the superior higher power of the military, they could not be in the program. We saw and put in a gun and lost materials. When going back, they started shooting. This woman in this picture, Yado Ololo, was gruesomely murdered in cold blood. Other members of the group decried the unwholesome activities of some group of persons in the community and appealed to security agencies to intervene in order to ensure sanity in the riverine areas. They went to the neighborhood states to go out organize boys, militants to go out to organize this election. There are some principal actors behind the party that made this election to be successful in the river right areas. Because the river right areas is the target of this election. I am appealing to the governor to bring these perpetrators to book. Those that are behind the killing of this woman and those people that said they are gods of Nicaragua, the government should please help us to bring them to book because enough is enough. For us, that actually took the money to people that vote for this man for us, and that's our appeal. We also appeal that the people that actually to the promise that he promised us, he should keep to his promise. We are calling on the Inspector General of Police, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, to go and invade the Nicaragua community and dislodge these people because they are planned there will not mean well for the good citizens of Edo State. The police public relations officer, DSP Chidi Wambuzo, is yet to comment on the matter as it could not be reached. Adesua, Iwino High, reporting. And that concludes the stories on the main news tonight. Thanks for your time. I'm Philip Omo Gupo. Good night. Independent television news. Truly independent. Rust of life. Rust of the next life. Rust of the life of the next life. Una. Arrange your voice more faster. Hola, 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 hola. Shoot, 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 shoot. Mind yourself. Social distancing, please.
We observe social distance in this house. Do what you've never done before. Find your first with the best data deals in town. Dial star triple seven hash. Glow unlimited. Edo must move forward. Yo, move forward. Yo, 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 yo. The great people of Edo State. We say make we come take this time. Take time everybody waste time give it back for the good and better of our great state. It don't show, say, all the good people in Edo State ready well, well to come together, work day and night for good governance in our great state. Papa, mama, brother and sister, Una thank you all when Una takes time for better of our state. Una do well, oh, our God don't win. The Wagyu Upper Middle Family Worldwide congratulates Governor Godwin Nogegase Obaseki, his Deputy Comrade Philip Shaibu, and the great people of Edo State. God bless Edo State and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Hi, my name is Feladuro Toye, a motivational speaker, life coach, and business entrepreneur. According to John Holmes, there is no better exercise for the heart than reaching down and lifting people up. I intentionally live to positively impact others. And now I have a partner in Top T, motivating you each time you open a box pack of Top T. Get motivated in Top T Taste to Know Inspiration Promo. Buy a Top T box pack and get a card with a motivational quote inside. You also stand a chance to get free airtime at the back of your card. Keep buying Top T box pack to recharge your body, mind and phone. Terms and conditions apply. Top T, big bags of flavor. This is ITV. Certainly the best. You will flood it this year. Anything that refuses to get up before your life, it shall begin to get up. You will match up with Winsa Siku. You will run and not be weary. If you are under this atmosphere, come on, receive it in Jesus' name. Yesterday has never lost his value. The God that helped you yesterday has never gone on transfer. The glory that delivered you yesteryears, that glory has never faded away. He will keep you so will keep you. He will sustain you so will sustain you. Arrows of the devil will never invade your life. They will gather against you, but they shall scatter by fire. You are the support of the angels of God. The hand of God is upon your life. Destiny is upon your life. Favor is upon your life. Testimony is upon your life. Miracle is upon your life. Glory is upon your life. Joy is upon your life. Take it by fire. Goodness and mercy, supply from the throne of grace, shall be your portion. Hallelujah. The season of glory is here as Assemblies of God Church Edo District present a three day power park revival program. Tag Power on the Mountain with the team Show Me Thy Glory. Beloved, this is a life changing program you have been waiting for. Speakers are Reverend Dr. Benjamin Esemi Kose, Kogi District Superintendent, Reverend Dr. Abednego Eze, Undo District Superintendent, Reverend Boris Olugu, National Youth Director, Assemblies of God Nigeria. Other resource persons are Barrister Paul Ejim. Jiga and Barrister Clement DK, Chief Host, Reverend Dr. Ambassador Joel A. Okogele JP, and the District Superintendent. That testimony you are here to tell or narrate, that glorious manifestation of the power of God that has never happened in your family before, 
that thing you've been longing for and anticipating, asking the Lord, when shall be the appointed time? Anyone that gets out to take this word, that vision shall come to pass. The date for this live turning program is Thursday 22nd to Saturday 24th October 2020. The time and the venue is Assemblies of God New Benin Central Branch, number 12B, Ozenbe Street, of Urubi, Iyaro, Benin City, Edo State, Nigeria. Beloved, God is set to turn your life around. God bless you as you come in Jesus' name. Amen. I live for Jesus day after day. Highly for Jesus, let come what may, thy Holy Spirit, I will obey. I live for Jesus, day after day, day after day, I live for Jesus, day after day, I live for Jesus. Let God thy Holy Spirit, thy Holy Spirit. Oh, I will obey. I live for Jesus day after day. I give God the glory for the privilege given to me to be a vessel in his hands this evening. I also thank our Father in the Lord, the legitimate and the authentic General Superintendent of the Assemblies of God Nigeria, recognized by God and by the law of the land. No other person than our Father, Professor Paul, a maker, who did it fit that I should stand here and share from the little experience I have. Before we look at the word of God, may I beckon on, on our mother, please, to come and pray for me. Thank you, ma. Let's call for her, please. Thank you, sir. Let's pray. Our Father, we are grateful unto you. Since we have arrived in this conference, you have been blessing us. This is another time, oh God. We want to eat from your table. Your servant is standing before you. We pray, oh God, that your illumination will pass through him. All you have for us this evening, that we will receive it from him. In the name of Jesus. We, we cover him in the blood of Jesus Christ. We cover him in the blood of Jesus Christ. We cover him in the blood of Jesus Christ. Rejecting every attack from every corner. Let the spirit of God take control, O oh God. That he will be able to flow in your anointing. Have your way, everlasting Father. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And let us shout a big Amen. James chapter 5. James chapter 5. Reading from verses 7 through 11. 